Okay, everybody knows we spend a lot of time indoors because of this uh, coronavirus. So this has almost become a daily routine just for relaxing. Play with these two toys here. I guess most of you who likes to shoot uh, probably try to do some indoor solution to suit your shooting needs or at least try to do something else than nothing. So my room is very small, really small. I stand over there and I have a little box packed with two really thick books and magazines packed hard together. Piece of wood behind and another piece of wood, which should be enough for these two. They are around one foot pound or something like that. So I'm pretty confident they strong enough for uh, the purpose here. So we're gonna start with uh, loading them up with CO2. And then we need some pellets in this one. And this one is loaded like this. It's all in there in my coffee. I use these light pellets, 7.33 grains. As light pellets as possible on this one, which is uh, the P320 M17 by six hour. And this has like a belt fed magazine, hosting 20 of these pellets. I wouldn't say it's a too accurate gun with this uh, blow back action, which also uses a lot of CO2. But it's more just a well, fun thing to shoot like rapidly. Just to have the feeling. Well, you can't substitute a, a real M17, of course, but still get you some practice as much as possible. And well, it takes, takes a little while to load these things. I think there is a previous version of something like this P320, not the M17, but I think that one had like 30 of the pellets in a belt fed magazine like this. And the thing with this is when you pull the trigger, it's actually feeding the gun and the trigger is pretty jerky, I would say, on this gun just because of that. So this is how it looks. CO2 there and the pellets in the front. You say. Now we're going to do the same procedure in this Dan and Wesson. I know this is not the ultimate oil, but I think it's better than nothing. I don't like this thing because it's always leaking a little when I try to put it in. I try to twist it fast as hell. Yeah, this time it went pretty okay. Just close it like this. And then uh, these, these, this type of bullets, you feed the, the BBs in the front. There is also another type where you can feed them in the back and what you have then basically you have an inch longer barrel theoretically at least where are my bb's in a little rolling around with a little little oil wd-40 my theory is since they are pinched in the rubber here maybe they release slightly more easy when you shoot them and my theory is to maybe get six more rounds out of the CO2 filling doing this. I mean, accuracy wise, this is a smooth bore, so 
doesn't have too much accuracy anyway. So we're set. Let's, let's try this. Shoot a couple of rounds just for fun. Let's do this. Five with the M17 and six with a three and a half inch barrel revolver and well they all over the place like here but it's just for the fun. Oh here's a pellet. Cool. That was fun.